In the 2018 science fiction action film The Meg, a group of scientists encounter a 75-foot-long megalodon shark while on a rescue mission on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. Although the flick was fake, the reality is that this creature actually existed approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. But could it actually still be lurking in our oceans around the world? These next videos will have you thinking, maybe, at the very least. 15 Scary Shark Sightings That Just Might Be The Megalodon Six Gill Checks Out Sub When it comes to the creatures of the deep, there are huge, massive animals that can be straight-up nightmare-inducing. Massive sharks, with those eyes and teeth, are some of the most ferocious and dangerous animals in the planet's history. Take this huge six-gill shark that just popped up out of nowhere. The crew of the scientific submarine got an up-close-and-personal look at this monster. Good thing it didn't decide to get aggressive. It could have caused some serious damage. The shark also seems to have been fighting with some other prey, so maybe it's had its fill already. So it didn't even want the sub. If one thing is sure, it's the ravenous appetite of sharks. Little is known about the elusive blunt-nosed six-gill because they reside so deep. They're considered a dominant predator of the deep-sea ecosystem, with their enormous size and teeth paving way for their dominance. Though they aren't the largest species of shark to ever live, that title goes to their extinct mega-cousin, the Megalodon. The species still predates most dinosaurs, according to the researchers who have been doing their darndest to dig up some more info. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. While regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived, Megalodon is only known from fragmentary remains, and its appearance and maximum size are uncertain. Scientists differ on whether it could have been more closely resembling a stockier version of the great white shark, the whale shark, the basking shark, or the sand tiger shark. Estimates suggest that their large jaws would exert a bite force like no other. Unlike the great white, which attacks prey from the soft underside, the megalodon probably used its strong jaw to break through the chest cavity and puncture the heart and lungs of its prey. So, it's a good thing that the person is on the boat rather than in the water, megalodon or not. Don't you think? Are you one of those types that would swim with sharks, even in the safety of a metal shark cage? Or are you cool chilling out of the water? Let the world know. Use the hashtag sweet topic in the comments below. Basking Beasts Though they can grow to be quite massive, there are many gaps in scientists' knowledge of the basking shark's life history. Because they have very large individuals and home ranges and don't stay idle for longer than a couple of months, they're an extremely elusive species. Basking sharks mate via internal fertilization, and females give birth to live young. As opposed to whale sharks, a closely related cousin, which give live birth to hundreds of small babies, these sharks birth only a few, but they're typically much larger. Based on the minimum size of individuals observed in the open ocean and of a single pregnant subject captured by researchers, biologists believe that these incredible sharks give birth to the largest babies of all animals just barely beating out the legendary great white shark. Scientists also have been led to believe that male and female baskers live at different locations and likely only meet to mate. Pregnant females, almost never encountered by humans, separate themselves from other females during gestation. Nearly every individual that's been caught to date was done so at the surface. And it was a female, not pregnant. <laughs> Biggest Fish in the Ocean Whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean. Though their name can be deceiving, it's important to understand that they're not whales, they're sharks. They do have a lot in common with whales, however, making their name less confusing than at first glance. The most obvious of said similarities are their size. To accommodate for their larger size, they also eat more like whales than sharks. These behemoths can grow up to 40 feet long and weigh over 20 tons. We're talking a gargantuan beast. Even though great whites get much more attention, the whale shark dwarfs the great white by comparison. Their heads are flattened and have a blunt snout above its mouth to allow for fast and easy sucking in of prey. Short, whisker-like sensory organs like catfish protrude from their nostrils and work in the same manner as their catfish counterpart. Each whale shark has its own unique pattern of spots reminiscent of human fingerprints. They don't shred and tear apart their prey like many of their shark cousins. They still are meat-loving carnivores, but they're considered filter feeders, according to National Geographic. 
They do this by opening their mouths, letting water come in and out, and their bodies naturally filter out the food and send it to wherever it needs to go. <laughs> Gigantic sea creature While the whale shark is the largest fish, the legendary blue whale is the largest animal on the planet. Imagine a 10-story tall creature cruising through the water, and you have yourself a blue whale. They aren't only huge, they're incredibly loud, long-lived, and unfortunately extremely vulnerable, especially considering all the rapid changes occurring in the oceans. The blue whale is the largest animal ever. From birth, these whales are larger than most adults from most other species. The longest blue whale ever seen was over 100 feet long, and scientists expect there to be even larger ones deeper in the ocean, staying away from human contact. To keep that monster of an animal up and running, it needs an equally massive heart, and this heart is huge. It's considered the largest heart in all the animal kingdom, weighing in at about 400 pounds and measuring about the size of a traditional bumper car. As a blue whale dives to feed, its giant heart may only beat twice per minute. Deep Sea Goblins Goblins do exist. While the goblin shark may appear like a hideous version of the mythical creature many now know as a goblin, there's much more to them than an ugly face. Though your opinion on their hideousness may be subjective, most images conjured when describing a goblin fall in the line with the hideous. With the goblin shark, this characterization and naming method remains authentic. Most would probably consider it more terrifying than hideous, but to each their own. Who's judging? Take a look at this crazy looking fish for yourself. It comes equipped with a shovel-like snout, chubby body, and a tail fin with an underdeveloped lower lobe. One of the most distinctive and terrifying aspects of this creature is its protractable mouth. You heard right, protractable, meaning the mouth and jaw can retract or extend, depending on the needs of the sharks and the situation at hand. While coasting along the waters, the protrusion would carry drag and thus remains retracted. While hunting, on the other hand, it surprises its prey by shooting out its jaws with a flurry of speed to catch its prey off guard. It's harmless to humans and feeds mostly on the crustaceans, baby squid, and smaller fish. Deep Sea Monster Again, deep ocean explorers have turned up yet another hulking beast that should send shivers down even the bravest of spines. Imagine being face to face with a beast so ferocious and massive it could swallow a human whole, though it would prefer to rip and shred it first. While out on expedition, these researchers unveiled an incredible battle between this massive shark and its prey. It wrestles in the mud and kicks up a storm of floating debris and muddy water. It's a testament to how big the creature is, how fast it managed to create such a dense cloud of mud. This thing looks like the beast that come from that one scene in Star Wars where the Millennium Falcon barely made the escape from the giant worm's interior. As it heads straight for the camera, we get a real sense of the monstrosity that it is. Shark Party Conditions in the deep blue are dangerous, even with a submarine between you and monsters of the deep. Seriously, nothing humans can create can save from an attack from some of the enormous beasts that lurk below. This is just one crazy example of how an ordinary research expedition can turn sour in the matter of a few moments. The team was tracking a dead sperm whale that had floated onto the Atlantic Ocean seabed. They were not expecting other predators to be lurking nearby whom had caught a whiff of the dead animal scent either or one of them was hungry. The best part of all was that the whole thing went down behind the scenes. During the actual filming of Blue Planet 2, for which this clip was snagged, these sharks started attacking the vessel that was being filmed to the point they broke the glass. There's some serious power behind those massive bodies and teeth. Experts said the shark believed the sub was a dangerous rival, so it started attacking. <laughs> Scuba Diver Nightmare Even when divers think they're safe and surrounded by a shark cage that's supposed to protect them from danger, the intelligent beasts often find a way. If all else fails, they'll overpower just about anything humans throw at them should they attempt. It's been seen many times before, and so goes today. The type of incident occurs so much that the practice is being all but phased out to save lives. Instead, swimming and respecting the creatures in the open ocean has proven to give better results. Sounds crazy, sure, but the evidence of divers swimming with great white in harmonic tandem is evidence, and plenty of footage shows as much in modern times. Don't be confused, they make sure the shark is nice and fed before they dive in, but hey, 
You got to do what you got to do in the name of science, right? Experts still desire more information about great whites, so any new method is accepted by them. A prolific area of question falls on discovering where and when they reproduce, as well as map hotspots they frequent during certain parts of the year. The cage diver shark observation technique first started in Australia and soon after became popular overnight in South Africa. Since it was the first country to protect the species, they had a keen interest in learning more about them. After all, the stigma of great white shark attacks still lingered from Steven Spielberg's Jaws film and still do to this day. Spearfishing Encounter Ever hear of Shark Week? If not, what planet have you been living on? This clip comes from a GoPro camera that was submitted to the company to be used on one of their commercials, which features something crazy. The man was spearfishing while recording, and Mother Nature shows up to remind him how dangerous and unpredictable the wild can be. While underwater, a great white snuck up on this diver, giving him the fright of his life. When he finally surfaces above the water a good distance away from the boat now, he starts yelling to his friend, white, white. White, white, to get him to move the boat ASAP. The shark followed him for some time, so the sea beast was definitely intrigued with the diver. Lucky for the spear fisherman, the shark backed off because that situation could have ended very badly. Although he had a spear gun, great whites are notorious for their aggressiveness and willingness to ignore the pain being rough on them in the process of the hunt. GoPro Battle close call. Good thing this great white shark wasn't hungry as it swam over a group of divers or it might have found himself some human flesh for dinner. They say once sharks taste human, they're much more likely to attack again, so this needs to be prevented at all costs. Lucky for us, this diver's GoPro managed to snag footage of the whole thing. This insane incident shook the divers down to their core. They were just trying to casually explore the ocean deep near the shore when this massive shark showed up and started making problems. It was either checking the divers out or was scouring for some food, for which it might have seen the divers. If the latter was true, good thing it didn't see the humans as worthy fights. The shark is enormous and the divers did their best to stay as far away and non-threatening as possible. There was little else they could really hope to accomplish in that moment. Luckily for them, it just swam on past, not going in for the kill. After the encounter, the divers got out of the water as fast as they could, their hearts racing. They reported they never saw death so close. Unfortunately, sharks are moving closer and closer to shores in recent years, which many attribute to the changing ocean conditions. Scientists aren't sure why, but you can bet they're doing all they can to figure it out. Shark Vlogger This shark just wanted a little internet stardom and sought to do as much by making his own vlog. Okay, obviously this is a bit much, but you can't help but laugh at the incident. This shark must have known how to operate a camera in his past life because they're sure working all those angles and dazzling the internet crowd all together. To get the footage, researchers from Macy University in New Zealand attached a waterproof camera to a bait bucket and dropped it into the water. Then it was time for the waiting game. Eventually, this star great white showed up and took the bait kit, but noticed the camera, or at least it appears that way. The shark takes all the viewers on a magical ride through the deep ocean like never before. The shark star has been estimated to be around 9 feet long and made several inquisitive passes of the bait bucket before snagging and taking off. Experts took encouragement from the video since the species are considered a rarity in the location, and now it's known with some proof that a great white population still exists in the area even after they've been drastically reduced in number. <laughs> Kayak Stalker Despite being so rare, great whites sure like to make an impression on humans and show up at crazy times. This kayaker was out enjoying a row when a great white emerged and started stalking him in a terrifying manner. If that shark would have been more aggressive or launched himself up and out of the water to land on that boat, the person would have been chum. Great whites have plenty of power to overturn the boat just from knocking it over from beneath, let alone even needing to hop out. This person was lucky he survived such a scary encounter. You can't deny that infamous fin cutting through the water trailing the kayak is haunting. As the fisherman in the small boat speeds up with his pedal kayak as best he can, so too does the shark in an obvious attempt to keep up with it. Is it thinking it might be prey? 
or just taking a peek. The fisherman later reported that it was a nightmare come to fruition. He also said it was a mutually incredible experience when he got to feel the awesome power of Mother Nature and one of her greatest creations, the Great White. Brazilian Coast Guard Footage Aerial footage from the Coast Guard sees uniformed men and women saving some swimmers from a massive 60-foot behemoth lurking beneath. Though the swimmers couldn't see the threat, there's a constant observation effort to reduce shark attack incidents. With the rising cases of shark attacks all over the globe, technology like helicopters and drones hover over the waters. They often spot incredible sights like this one, where swimmers were just inches away from a possible attack. A beast that size would have to eat a lot, and there was plenty of people nearby to warrant an area rescue. The shark is absolutely enormous and has yet to be identified by anyone. The closest person to the beast didn't even know it was there until they saw the recorded footage in the chopper later. This beast was so big that many started bringing up rumors that the infamous Megalodon had returned and was looking for food. Another suspected a blue whale, but the footage shows a fin coursing through the water as well and blue whales don't have shark fins like that. Deep Blue We've all heard of the infamous great white shark, but have you ever heard of the deep blue? This is chalking up to be one of the greatest aquatic discoveries in our lifetime. The aptly named Deep Blue is the result of years of planning and research. The fish is just as amazing as its years of staying off the radar. Okay, maybe the shark itself is still considered a great white species, but its size and character awarded it its own name in the world of marine biology. The colossal shark known as Deep Blue is the largest great white shark ever recorded, and they managed to track it for quite some time after its initial find. Marine biologists know where Deep Blue is at all times, and they're hoping it'll lend them some information into better understanding of the unique shark. The video of Big Blue feeding truly demonstrates how powerful and dangerous this beast of the sea can be. Be sure not to get caught out by your lonesome with this beast. It might try to rip you to shreds. Rumors of the massive shark have been surfacing since the 90s, but it wouldn't be until 2014 that she was finally caught on film just off the coast of Guadalupe Island, and to this day stands as the largest. Mariana Trench Meg Recent video recordings have surfaced, sourced from Japanese marine biologists, which shows a massive, unidentified monster lurking in the depths of the ocean. The beast was spotted in a location so deep that the sun won't reach it. Just what is this mysterious creature? Thanks to some impressive advances in satellite imaging, scientists are able to see the entire outline of the beast below. The Mariana Trench creature, as it's being called, is so mysterious that top people in their field are wondering if the legendary Megalodon shark has returned. Known as the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana's Trench is unexplored. Your guess is as good as any as to what lies down there. Historians on the Meg claim there isn't enough food at those depths for a shark of that size to survive, so they ruled the ancient beast out from the equation. The Megalodon was said to have died out some 2.6 million years ago, so if one is indeed living down there, it's the last of its kind. Sharks are some of the oldest and most dangerous creatures to ever exist on Earth, not to mention their ravenous and unending appetite. Though the giants of the past have long been reduced to ashes, there are some still today that trace their lineage back to the legendary beast, the Meg. Humans have some weird fascination with those animals, which explains why there's an entire week dedicated to the predators that never seems to go out of style. If you ever find yourself in the ocean, watch yourself around these notorious beasts. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.